beautiful souls welcome back to my channel my name is michelle we talk all things life love spirituality law of attraction and all of that juicy goodness i am an intuitive reader a manifesting coach a reiki practitioner and a life path guide and mentor here to help you along your awakening journey so you can co-create the life of your dreams and in this video we are going to talk about specific signs that you know your manifestation is on the way and these signs keep us grounded they keep us excited they keep us on the path and you know our egos don't get too carried away we just observe and we thank the universe for the sign to let us know that it's coming and it's just a matter of hours days weeks we are open to whenever it's best for us to arrive for us and we just surrender so this sign that i want to talk about in this specific video is kind of like a series of events so when these specific things are happening you really know it's close and it's almost like momentum is building right before it drops in so these series of events might look like you starting off doing a different routine, okay? So that's the beginning of the series. You decide to go somewhere new. Something comes across your feed or your page or the internet and you're like, wow, I wanna try this. For me, it was a yoga class 45 minutes away. It was a hot yoga class. It was kind of like a mixture of like a HIIT training and yoga. And I, I don't know why, I just saw it come across my Instagram feed. The place looked really cool my soul felt called to go there. So I honored it because I know the manifestation journey is all about following your nudges and the leads and your breadcrumbs. So I could feel an energy when I was staring at this Instagram post. And I'm like, why do I feel like I need to go take a class there? I was like, maybe I will teach there one day or maybe I'll meet somebody, I don't know. The mind likes to create all these stories around it. Just ignore it and just go. So the day that I decide to go to the yoga class, I'm driving the 45 minutes to get there. And I keep taking like this wrong turn. Like there's this in New Jersey, there's these jug handles. You can't make a left-hand turn at a light. You have to go like off to the right. You have to go around a little jug handle. It's a little half circle. And then you cross over and then you go in the other direction. It's bonkers. It's silly. I don't know why we live this way, but it's the way they design the roads here. So I kept, I didn't see the jug handle. So I must've drove straight and my GPS had to redirect me. So I get guided to turn down this one street. And meanwhile, on my drive, I was seeing so many angel numbers on trucks, trucks specifically. It wasn't just cars, it was all trucks. And I was like, all right, universe, I see you. You're talking to me in a different way right now. I'm open to you. Something is really gonna happen at this yoga class because I could feel it. I could feel the energy. It was a series of events. I was guided to go to the yoga class. I found it on Instagram. Then I took action. It worked out perfectly that there was a class that night. So the universe was aligning me to go. And then I'm in my car and I see all these angel numbers on trucks. I'm like, okay, what does that mean? So I just take note of it. Then I get a little lost and I have to get redirected. And when I turned down that street that I was talking about, there were three deer, two baby deer and one mama deer or dad. <laughs> and they were just literally standing in the street, not moving. And it was dark at this time. It was like 6 p.m., 7 p.m. And I turned down the street and I had to make a U-turn to come back out the street a different way. And they just stood there. They didn't run away. They watched me make my whole turn. I actually took a video of them real fast. I paused, stopped my car, took a video. And I was like, all right, I need to remember this moment. This means that something is coming. So I thanked the deer. I thanked them for the little sign that they sent me. And then I got back on the road and then I made it to the yoga studio nothing happened at the yoga class i didn't meet anyone new but it felt really good my body got a nice little detox because it was a hot yoga class so i was purging out any heavy metals any toxins in my body and then i did a two-day water fast so these signs this series of events ended up leading me to twenty-five thousand dollars. okay so this one sign that we're talking about it's a series of events it's this thing that happens, the start of the events was the yoga class. And then I got all this feedback saying, yes, you're meant to be here, you're meant to be here, you're meant to be here. My ego was trying to make sense of it all and it was thinking it had to do with the yoga class. Had nothing to do with that. Two weeks later, two and a half weeks later, I received $25,000. So that series of events was a preparation. I was purging my vessel of any toxins at the yoga class. 
I was taking action, following my lead to go do that. The universe needed me to attune my vessel to receive this money. I had to energetically prepare for it. Otherwise I might sabotage it. So when we go through a purification of our chakras, sometimes we change our diet. Sometimes we change our routines. We allow space for things to happen. So the Instagram post was the first breadcrumb. I followed it, went on the drive, saw the angel numbers, second breadcrumb. Then I saw the deer, third breadcrumb, got to the yoga class, drove home feeling so invigorated. And also I forgot to mention on my drive home, I kept seeing my last name on signs. I saw it on a street name and then I saw it on a billboard. So it was like the universe was literally shouting out my name like, yeah, Thornton, way to go. <laughs> so then I get home and then I decide because I felt so good and invigorated, I wanted to do a water fast. So I really cleansed my vessel, not knowing why I was doing all this. I had no idea. I was not manifesting the $25,000 consciously. And then what happened was because I felt so clear I was laying in bed at night, counting money. I was imagining a woman handing me a check over and over and over again. And I did this for four to five nights in a row. I don't remember exactly what number it was. It was either four or five nights. And then I got kind of got sick of it. And I was like, I've done it enough. The universe got the message. So my vessel was clear. I followed all the breadcrumbs. I did the imaginal act. And then three weeks later, I get the money in a check form from a woman handing it to me. So I didn't know that that bridge of events was the universe preparing my vessel for the money. So if you feel like the universe has moved you and it's preparing you, it's making you do things you've never done before. You're wanting to eat different foods. You're wanting to go to a sauna or do a cold plunge. You're just doing things differently for like a week. And then you go back to your normal routine. The universe is moving you. This is a huge sign that something is on the way. So allow it, follow the breadcrumbs. If you're seeing something, if somebody asks you to go somewhere and you feel called to do it, but maybe it doesn't make sense. For me to go to a yoga class 45 minutes away, it didn't make sense. I was like, what am I doing? I don't even like yoga. But I just felt the call. And I know in my heart, we always follow the call. Even if it's uncomfortable, even if it's a hot, hot yoga class and you're going to be exhausted afterwards, you could be nauseous during it or depleted. You're just willing to do whatever because you know the universe is telling you, hey, come this way. And then when you're on the drive, you see all the signs. So you really know that you're meant to be there. So the universe is conspiring to bring you what you want. So you have to be a yes guy or a yes girl and follow the lead. I always say after reading Florence Scovelshin's books, I always say in honor of her, follow the lead, follow the breadcrumbs, the universe, you ask the universe for what you want, and then it will give you a lead. It will give you what action to take next to prepare yourself for it. Recently, I'm getting into feng shui and I, I felt a lead to watch a video about feng shui. And now I feel like it just amplified my manifestation ability so that I could teach it more to help you all. So as a teacher, I'm being led to how to educate myself more to teach all of you because we all want to be co-creating the life of our dreams, don't we? We want to do it in a fun and effortless way, knowing that we will have to step out of our comfort zone and take a yoga class if we're not used to it. You just do it anyway. And I think that's the difference between people who manifest and people who don't. I should say people who manifest successfully, people who don't, who keep manifesting the same situation over and over again, they're not finally getting that breakthrough or that next level manifestation, it's because you have to be a screw it, I'm gonna do it anyway type of person. You have to be disciplined. You have to go to the gym when you don't wanna to go to the gym. You have to eat the foods that, that your guides and angels are telling you to eat, but it makes no sense. Do it anyway. Do not stay stuck in your old patterns and routines. That's what's gonna keep you stuck on this journey. You need your energy in your home, in your body, in your car. You need it all to be shifted in order to allow more in. And every few weeks, we shift our energy again. We move furniture in our home. We clean out our car again. We spray it with lavender water. If anyone was in our car, we want to remove their lack energy out of our spaces. So think about every time somebody comes into your home, they're bringing their energy in. You must clean your spaces and yourself after you've been around people. This all affects your manifestation ability. So this one sign, it's the bridge of events. It starts off with a little nudge. You feel called to do something. And then all of a sudden you get all these synchros after you do it. That's how you know something's coming. 
and it takes a couple weeks. So don't think it's coming tomorrow. Just like I thought something was going to come at the yoga class. I totally thought a manifestation was coming that night. But now I know I tap the brakes when that's happening. And I say, oh, I'm dropping the pebble in the pond. And now the universe is getting that ripple effect. And it's going to move something back to me in a couple weeks. So get out there, start dropping your pebbles in the pond, follow the leads and be a yes guy or a yes girl. And if you need help, I love coaching people through this process and I let them know where they need to take action more or where they need to do less and they can rest more. I can see it all and I can help you. So please book a session with me if you need help or I can mentor you for eight weeks, teach you all the things, send you on the way and you'll be manifesting like the king or queen that you already are. All right, lovies, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. I love you all to pieces. All right, peace out.